top 10 Netflix horror movies, your neighbors should definitely put their earplugs on because your screams might not let them sleep today. As we bring you the horror movies on Netflix, you may not want to watch alone. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we will tell you all about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of the video, because in today's video, we are going to list down the top 10 Netflix horror movies of 2022. So let's get started. Number 10. A sequel to the 2012 film Sinister, Sinister 2, is a 2015 American supernatural horror film directed by Syrian Foy and written by Scott Deckardson. The film grossed over $54 million against its reported budget of $10 million. The film was largely panned by critics, with criticism for its jump scares, horror cliches, and story. The film opens with a 16mm home movie, depicting a family of three in a farmhouse near a cornfield where Allison Oswait lived. The boy, Dylan, has nightmares and is visited by ghostly children led by the boy Milo. Dylan lives with his mother, Courtney Collins, who has just left her abusive husband, and his brother Zach, and is forced by the ghost to go into the basement to watch home films in Super 8 of families being slaughtered. Ex-deputy so-and-so is investigating the crime spree of Bugal and burning down the houses where the deceased families lived to protect other families. He travels to the farmhouse and finds Courtney and her sons living there. He tells that he is a private investigator and he protects her against a bluff of her ex-husband to keep the children with him. Then he begins a love affair with Courtney Meanwhile, Dylan tells the ghost that he will not see any video again, but Zach, who is the real choice of the ghost, replaces him. When their father succeeds in getting a court order to have the custody of the children, Courtney is forced to go with the children. What will happen to the Collins family? Number 9. A 2017 French-language Canadian horror film is titled Ravenous. The film is directed by Robin Aubert and starring Marc-Andre Grodin. Ravenous was released to positive reviews for its social themes. It won the Toronto International Film Festival Award for Best Canadian Film, with many other awards as well, that makes the film a worth watch. A small remote village in upstate Quebec is terrorized by a flesh-eating plague, breaking down residents' bodies and turning them against their loved ones, while survivors flee for the woods. However, their journey becomes hopeless when they learn what happened in other locations. Number 8. Written and directed by David Robert Mitchell, titled It Follows, is a 2014 American supernatural psychological horror film. The film received acclaim from critics. Praise was directed at the film's originality and Monroe's performance. It grossed $23.3 million worldwide against its $1.3 million budget. The story is about a girl named Jay. For 19-year-old Jay, Autumn should be about school, boys, and weekends out at the lake. After carefree teenager Jay sleeps with a new boyfriend, Hugh, for the first time, she learns that she is the latest recipient of a fatal curse that is passed from victim to victim via sexual intercourse. Death, Jay learns, will creep inexplorably toward her as either a friend or a stranger. Jay's friends don't believe her seemingly paranoid ravings until they too begin to see the phantom assassins and band together to help her flee or defend herself. Number 7. A 2014 American thriller film directed by Adam Wingard and written by Simon Barrett is titled The Guest. The film stars Dan Stevens and Maka Monroe. The Guest receives generally positive reviews from critics. It tells the story of a U.S. soldier called David who unexpectedly visits the Purgerson family, introducing himself as a friend of their son who died in combat in Afghanistan. After he has been staying in their home for a couple of days, a series of deaths occur and the daughter Anna suspects David is connected to them. Number 6. A spin-off of the 2016 The Conjuring 2. The Nun is a 2018 American Gothic supernatural horror film directed by Corin Hardy and written by Gary Duberman. It grossed $365 million worldwide, becoming the highest grossing film of the series. The film is about a young man who lives at a cloistered abbey in Romania. She takes her own life, a priest with a haunted past, and a noviate on the threshold of her final vows are sent by the Vatican to investigate. Together, they uncover the Order's unholy secret, risking not only their lives, but their faith and their very souls. They confront a malevolent force in the form of the same demonic nun that first terrorized audiences in The Conjuring 2, as the Abbey becomes a horrific battleground between the living and the damned. Number 5. A 2019 horror film directed by Travis Stevens, written by Stevens, is titled Girl on the Third Floor. It was released worldwide on October 25, 2019. 
The film has garnered largely positive reviews at SXSW, Buff, and the London Fright Fest Film Festivals. Donald Koch, aka Don, King Don, and Tiger, moves from Chicago to the suburbs since his wife Liz is pregnant and they believe the location is adequate to raise a family with children. Liz buys an old house and Don, who is unemployed, goes with his dog Cooper first to renovate the house. Soon, he learns from his neighbor, Ellie Mueller, that the house was a brothel many years ago. Then he meets another neighbor, the sexy Sarah Yates, and they have sex in the house. When Sarah returns to visit him, he says that their affair was a mistake since he is married and asks her not to come back again. On the weekend, his friend Milo Stone comes to help Don in the renovation. But soon, the house shows supernatural events and Milo, Don, and Liz learn that the place is haunted with a sordid past. Number 4. A sequel, The Babysitter Killer Queen, which was released on September 10, 2020, is titled The Babysitter. It is a 2017 American teen black comedy horror film directed by Mick G and written by Brian Duffield. The story is of Cole, who loves his babysitter B. She's hot, funny, and popular. One night, in a moment of defiance, Cole secretly stays up past his bedtime to discover she's actually a cold-blooded killer who is in league with the devil. He now must spend his night evading B's band of killers who will stop at nothing to prevent Cole from spilling their dark secret. It's up to Cole to survive the night and blow up a few people along the way. Number 3. A 2020 Norwegian horror film is titled Cadaver. The film is directed and written by Jaren Hurdle and starring Git Witt, Thomas Gulstad, and Thorbjorn Haar. In the aftermath of a nuclear disaster, a starving family finds hope in the charismatic hotel owner. Lured by the prospect of free dinner, they discover that the evening's entertainment blurs the lines between performance and reality. Will they wind up spectators or become the spectacle? Number 2. The seventh installment in the Conjuring Universe franchise is titled Annabelle Comes Home. It is a 2019 American supernatural horror film written and directed by Gary Duberman. It grossed over $231 million worldwide and received mixed reviews from critics, who found it less frightening than its predecessors. Determined to keep Annabelle from wreaking more havoc, demonologist Ed and Lorraine Warren bring the possessed doll to the locked artifact's room in their home, placing her safely behind sacred glass and enlisting a priest's holy blessing. But an unholy night of horror awaits as Annabelle awakens the evil spirit in the room, who all set their sights on a new target, the Warren's 10-year-old daughter, Judy, and her friends. Number 1. A remake of the 1982 film, Poltergeist is a 2015 American supernatural horror film directed by Joe Keenan and written by David Lindsay Ambrier. It was a moderate box office success, grossing over $92 million worldwide against a budget of $35 million. In the film, all seems well for Eric Bowen, wife Amy, and three children, as they move into their new house in the suburbs of Illinois. Soon, youngest daughter Maddie begins talking to an imaginary friend, or so the family thinks. It's not long before sinister spirits wreak havoc in the home, holding Maddie captive and forcing the parents to consult a team of parapsychologists who engage the supernatural entities in a battle for the girl's freedom. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.